This morning, the Texas African American Museum in Tyler took time out to recognize an often forgotten aviation pioneer. Our chief news photographer, Alan Casper, was there to capture the festivities. We're here today to celebrate and memorialize Miss Elizabeth Bessie Coleman, who was the first African American female to become a pilot. And today marks 100 years since her endeavor with aviation. Ms. Coleman was born in Atlanta, Texas. Flying was her passion. Because of her being a female and because of her race, that was not allowed here in the United States of America. She left the United States and in Paris, France, she was able to get her aviation license and become a pilot. She came back to the United States and she still realized that females were not accepted in the aviation industry. So, Miss Bessie Coleman became, I would call her a daredevil. She jumped out of plane, did all sorts of stunts and things like that. One day, there was a freak accident and she was killed from a jump that she did from a plane. So, with no further ado, here we go. Oh, oh wow. We had an anonymous donor donate a painting of Miss Bessie Coleman to the museum. We're so proud of Miss Bessie Coleman. Miss Joanne Allen, we present to you today the Bessie Coleman Leadership Award. The wow. Bessie Coleman Bessie Award Bessie means you. so much. If you want to get into the aviation field, think about Bessie Coleman. Think about all the obstacles that she endured, but she completed her passion. Three other East Texans were recognized for their contributions to aviation with the Triple Golden Eagle Award during the ceremony. The celebration also saw another first as the Juneteenth flag was raised in the city of Tyler for the first time. That flag is symbolic representation of the end of slavery in the U.S. is a red, white, and blue flag with a single star and the date June 19, 1865 written on it. Coming up on the CBS 19 News at 6, we'll tell you more about Juneteenth and why it's such a special day, especially for Texans.